What is going on Raptors Nation? Luca here back with another video and the Toronto Raptors have made some roster changes following their perfect preseason just days before the start of the regular season. The Raptors have finalized their roster as we are going to talk about it today. Do me a solid hit a like on the video. It helps it a ton and please subscribe to the channel for more Raptors content just like this. So the Raptors have waived Jeff Dowden Jr. They also waived Justice Winslow, who they signed the other day after waving Maker Maker. And the Raptors have also waived Muhammad Gay. Now, both Winslow and Gay are 905 bound because, you know, they were on Exhibit 10 deals. And also Maker Maker, who was waived the other day to bring in Justice Winslow, he is headed to the 905 as well. But in terms of Jeff Dowden Jr., this is it. Jeff Dowden Jr., he was on a non-guaranteed deal, and it was set to become partially guaranteed today for 900 k but the Raptors, of course, waive him. So the Raptors don't hold his G League rights. Dowden will not be with the Raptors 905, and if Dowden Jr. does return to the G League, his rights are actually owned by the Delaware Blue Coats which is the minor league affiliate of Nick Nurse's Philadelphia 76ers. So that would be something if Jeff Dowden Jr. ends up being reunited with Nick Nurse. But I advocated for Jeff Dowden Jr. I thought he was too good to let go like this. And you look at Jeff Dowden Jr., unfortunate situation. I mean, he appeared in 25 games for the Raptors last season. And, you know, he became one of the guys that Nick Nurse did trust at times. And you look at Jeff Dowden Jr., was never really given a fair shot. That's the mind-boggling part about this, right? He was never given a fair shot to even prove himself and compete this preseason. He played in all but eight minutes in that game against Chicago, and that was it. Darko Ryakovich heavily playing Malachi Flynn, and this was never a competition. This was never a battle. Ryakovich had made up his mind, it seemed, going into the preseason that Malachi Flynn was going to be the backup point guard to Dennis Schroeder. And that is indeed the case. So Dowden Jr. Wish him the best. Definitely wanted to see him remain a Raptor. And we'll see what's next for Jeff Dowden Jr. But I do think this was ultimately mishandled by the Raptors. I mean, Jeff Dowden Jr. Not only didn't get a fair shot, but he was held out here. Could have had another opportunity with a different team. And yeah, all in all, I think this is just an unfortunate situation with Jeff Dowden Jr. And I mean, it was tough to watch in the final preseason game. The camera showed the bench and everybody was all smiles. And you just saw Jeff Dowden Jr.'s face and he was not one happy camper. And I mean, he knew what was coming and it was inevitable. That was the expectation. That was the feeling going into the Raptors final preseason game. And after the game, they made it official. So Jeff Dowden Jr. has been waived, and uh, the Raptors actually have one more Exhibit 10 deal remaining. So they will likely sign somebody, and then he will more than likely be joining the 905. You look at the Raptors' updated projected depth chart following the moves. At point guard, they're going to have Dennis Schroeder, Malachi Flynn, and Marquise Noel on a two-way contract. Shooting guard, Ojin and Obi, Gary Trent Jr., Grady Dick. Garrett Temple, Javon Freeman Liberty, who's also going to be on a two way contract. Then small forward, Scotty Barnes, Jalen McDaniels, Otto Porter Jr., Ron Harper Jr., who's on a two way deal as well. And then power forward, Pascal Siakam, Chris Boucher, Thad Young. And then center, Yaka Pertle, Precious Achua, and Christian Coloco, who continues to be out with respiratory issues. Hopefully he's back soon. So when you take a look at the Raptors rotation, the for sure's are going to be the starters, of course. Dennis Schroeder, Ojin Anobi, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam, and Yaka Pirtle. And then the bench pieces are going to be as follows. For sure, it's going to be Gary Trent Jr. leading that second unit. Then you're going to have Precious Achua, Chris Boucher, and I think Jalen McDaniel secured himself a spot when it comes to the bench. So that final spot is going to be interesting. Obviously, Ryakovich said that he wants to implement a 10-man rotation. But you're going to have a couple of options that you can go in. Obviously, Malachi Flynn, he is the team's backup point guard now. And he's been getting a lot of usage in the preseason. Then you got the rookie, Grady Dick, who played a lot in the Raptors' final preseason game. He looked good. And then Otto Porter Jr., he's back. Of course, he's a veteran 3 and D player. He can help his Raptors team a lot, of course, if he stays healthy. So I think ultimately that final spot could go to Flynn just because of the preseason usage. But also, 
we could see an Otto Porter Jr. come in as well. And that is a guy who can be a huge impactful player, in my opinion, for the Raptors on both sides. I think Grady Dick's going to be brought along slowly. Ryakovic kind of alluded to that already. So we'll see how everything shapes up. But what do you think, Raptors Nation? What do you think the Raptors rotation will be? And yeah, let me know your overall thoughts down below. Hit a like and subscribe to the channel for more. That is it for me. This is Lucas signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay safe.